Uh, got a new box from Summit Racing here. And it's an MSD box, 6A, and a TFI um, adapter. And I'll show you this. I'm going to take this out to my garage real quick, my workbench, and I'll uh, open it up. It's the uh, new black version, so I'll show you the. Uh, I'm going to wire this up for my Bronco, but all right, I'll be back guys back here in the garage and so if you hear my uh, that noise in the background I'm actually fixing that computer server right now so I'm not gonna be here on long I just want to show you the unboxing of this thing so this is the uh, TFI coil module and this is the new black MSD box 6a um, I didn't get the 6al the rev limiter one because I didn't really need that because I have a re rev limiter on my uh, my, my Hall EFI does rev limiting it can do it from spark and fuel, so didn't need the extra rev limiter. So this is what it comes with. Just a little screw pack and cable. I do like the actual new digital ones. They finally came with a weather pack or weatherproof connector. So that's good. And that's the 6A box. I got the black one to match my engine because I don't have anything else red in there. And the extension cable, some stickers, manual. Um, actually, I'm pretty excited about this this setup, you know, with the uh, uh, the TFI because um, you know before you know all, all my other, I've been running the MSDs for like about 20 years, and all my other previous MSDs actually had dedicated distributors, which were magnetic pickup that actually had to work with the MSD box. So I was always worried about redundancy when you know when I was off roading because um, give me one second, kid ran off. Man, kids can be a nightmare sometimes. Okay, so back here, and uh, so what I was saying, like, so the cool thing about a TFI is that if this module fails for any reason, I can just unplug this device from the coil, and I can just plug the coil directly in, and I'm back in business. So that's definitely a benefit of running, uh, you know, TFI over having like a, a direct magnetic, uh, like MSD distributor, is that it doesn't require a box to fire. So. Yeah, that was always like a set of concern of mine. Off-roading was that either the distributor is going to fail or the MST box is going to fail and I'm going to be fucked, be stuck. So, um, this is the first time I've ever actually run an MST with TFI. Uh, but I, I do have a lot of experience with TFI, with Mega Squirt and other products you've probably seen in my other videos. So, actually, uh, TFI is a pretty cool setup, you know. I'll show you, uh, you know, I have my uh, extra distributor here and I'll show you a uh, I'll do a spark test, you know, with and without the uh, the uh, MSD box, so you can see the difference in the spark energy, you know. But uh, okay, so oh yeah, another thing too is uh, the reason why I'm not running an MSD distributor TFI is man, I've had a lot of issues with like MSD and and uh, like even like those cheap Procom ones, they just fail. Either the modules fail or the shafts fail or whatever. So you see, like in my other video, I have a pro comp sucks video. That's actually a TFI distributor where the fucking shaft fail. I've actually had two shafts fail on MSC distributors, or not MSC, but uh, pro comp distributors. So those things are Chinese garbage. Don't even get those. Um, but yeah, even MSC has issues. You know, not with their the billet housing or in the shaft, but their internals are I hear have problems. You know, and also their their TFI modules. So um, that's actually why I run Motorcraft. You know. Uh, distributor. I mean, I, I could afford to get the better one if I wanted to, but um, like I said, they just failed. They were kind of unreliable. But also, with the uh, TFI coils, the new MSD ones, the ones that are the E-Core design, that are like encased in plastic, I've actually had two of those fail. So, I'm actually running a Motorcraft uh, coil, too. So, Motorcraft distributor and Motorcraft coil. So, but like I said, um, okay, so I'm going to mount this. Uh, my holes are still there from before when I had a MSD box before, so get this going and get it mounted in the truck and I'll, I'll show you it mounted and then I'll get it wired up. All right. It's a little bit bugged here. Um, they, you know, these things actually used to come with mounts a long time ago. They, I, as far as I remember, as I've had a digital six before, I, I had the red one and I had the older style one before that and a couple of the older style ones before that and a couple different cars I've had. And, um, but they used to come with these rubber shock mounts. This one doesn't actually have that. I don't see it anywhere in the box. So that kind of sucks. 
All right, cool. So uh, I do actually have some space. Not, I'll, I'll double. I might have some extra ones. I don't know. I look for them, but that freaking kind of sucks. Um, but interesting. I do actually have some extra screws, so that might work. All right, cool. Pretty basic to wire in. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get the wires nice and cleaned up. These need to feed over to the coil, and then you have your positive and negative go to the battery terminal. Uh, the key switch is provided by the actual TFI which is this red because that's actually that's what activates the TFI coil is a key switch so all right so we get this nice and cleaned up and get the wires nice and protected and then uh, I'm probably gonna wrap it around the distributor that way I can actually just unplug it from that side uh, the little, uh, little adapter piece but I'm gonna find a good way in case this thing fails I can just unplug it really fast typically I like to solder and shrink wrap everything Anything usually related to computers, sensors, or ignition, I like to solder, so... Well, I mean, I like to solder everything, but it's... Yeah, you know, sometimes it's freaking hard to get to, so... Um... See, so yeah, I'm gonna solder these, uh... Where'd that model go? I'm gonna solder the uh, TFTP connectors on this thing and, uh... Shrink wrap it. And, uh... This will be my last video with this shitty camera. The viewfinder doesn't work anymore, so can't see what I'm filming here. Um, I'm just basically pointing the camera in there, in the angle I think it's at, and actually shooting it from there. But So I got a pretty cool camera coming in. I'll do a review on that. Wide angle lens, microphone. So, all right, cool. See this, but that's the uh, connector I just uh, soldered and uh, shrink wrapped on there. This is gonna go right in there, but I'll show you when I get to that point. Oh fuck, I can't get ready. We can't wait to get we can't wait to get rid of this camera, man. So, so yeah, it's all wired in. So it's gonna I'm gonna show you uh, how TFI works. Actually I'm, I'm gonna hook up an extra distributor and I'll show you how it works with a coil you know, and a ground wire. So alright, cool. I'll show you how simple this uh, TFI coil is. So I've hooked up to my distributor here and my extra distributor, just unplugged from the main engine and then on my uh, TFI coil, I'll just have a wire coming up, grounded out there. It's not even a good ground. But as I spin the distributor with my hand, it's going to fire the spark. See? So, this is not a really good coil, but you kind of get the idea. Okay, so now I'm just going to hook up this uh, MSD box. Just, I'm gonna, I'll just unplug this wire and plug in the wires there. Just kind of fish them in there. This. I'm just going to take the existing TFI power plug, plug into this side of the module, and then plug in this side of the TFI coil. So, in the event of a failure, all I have to do is unplug these two, plug in the back, plug in the connector back into the coil, and I'm back on the stock coil, bypassing the MSD totally, all 100%. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is not even this is not even this doesn't control timing or nothing. I mean, this just controls spark. Timing is all done from the computer. So. Well, I mean, the cool thing about TFI is if you lose sync with the computer, then it's, it's going to at least be back at a 10 degrees before top, top dead center. So, um, yeah, this is a pretty cool. I like TFI. TFI is pretty cool. Pretty basic setup. Now, this is the MSD box. You can tell it's a much more ridiculous spark. I'm get, it's hard for me to get this uh, thing to activate here. But, yeah, as you can see, it's a much more ridiculous spark. All right, cool. Uh, fuck, I'm trying to get this thing to fire up, but all right, I think I probably flooded the engine. I'm firing the injectors. All right, cool. It's got it, got it running here. Hope you can see it. Running on the MSD. So yeah, this is, should give me a little bit better, uh, better part, uh, part throttle response, and definitely down low. Uh, MSD stands for multiple spark discharge, but I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably already know what it does. So, yeah, I mean, it only took me about an hour to install. I mean, TFI is really basic, and I, and I have the emergency option. So, if this fucking, if this box fails for any reason, I just come over here and plug it from the coil, and I'm back on the factory, you know, TFI setup, you know, with the holy computer running it. So, yeah, pretty basic, man. Uh, let me clean up some of these wires. But, um, running pretty smooth there. Cool. I got, I'll take it for a test run and see how it runs, but, I mean, I've actually had experience with the MSC in the past, and it definitely usually improves part throttle, so, 
Alright, cool.